Warmest greetings to all Catholic brothers and sisters. Welcome back to our video. May God pour out His abundant grace and blessings upon you. We hope you enjoy the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates. Join us on this journey and listen to this video to the very end. Type Amen if you believe that God always blesses you. Recent revelations believed to be given by the Virgin Mary to Mir Jana in Medjugorje have sparked debates about the fate of souls, particularly Catholic souls. These shocking truths, shrouded in secrecy and mystery, raise the terrifying possibility of Catholic souls being completely engulfed in hell. The thought of such a dire demise has left believers feeling fearful and puzzled, leading to introspection and contemplation. A statement has emerged claiming that approximately 73% of Catholics will endure this fiery hell, and experiencing a miracle would be extraordinary if they have a specific sign, leaving believers grappling with this unsettling discovery. Such revelations have profound implications, forcing people to reconsider their actions and beliefs in light of the potential consequences they may face in the afterlife. Through prayer, one can express gratitude and reverence, establishing a connection with the divine and receiving consolation, peace, and comfort in challenging times. Believers develop a closer relationship with God through prayer, nourishing their souls and promoting spiritual growth. Let us now unite in prayer. Almighty God, in the name of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, who you sacrificed to save us, your wretched children, from the fires of hell, hear our prayer. We offer up to you our humble sacrifices. We welcome the trials and sufferings as a means to bring about salvation for souls during the warning. We beg you to grant forgiveness to sinners who find it difficult to return and accept your mercy so that they may offer up the necessary sacrifices and atone in your sight. Amen. We acknowledge your sovereignty over all creation as we bow in awe and reverence before your throne, O Lord, Almighty and Merciful. You are the source of all knowledge, strength, and love. You are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. As humble servants in need of your power and wisdom, we come to you to pray for grace and guidance. Lord, Grant us the strength to face life's obstacles with faith and perseverance, and the discernment to know what is right in every situation. May we be a light in this dark world, fill our hearts with your love and compassion. Please grant us your incomparable peace and allow yourself to be our ever-present comforter and guide. Believers are encouraged to seek spiritual guidance and discernment amidst the ambiguity and concerns surrounding these revelations, striving to live virtuously and righteously by their faith. I will now convey this message to each one of you, beloved children of the Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. In these challenging times, Archangel Michael sends you a message of strength and hope. I stand before you as a protector and guardian of the faith, ready to guide and support you on your spiritual journey. Realize that you do not face difficulties alone. Together with the celestial beings, I am here to fight alongside you against the forces of evil and darkness. Have faith in the efficacy of prayer and the heavenly protection enveloping you. Remain steadfast in faith and unwavering in your loyalty to God. When faced with uncertainty and doubt, turn to prayer and find solace in God's gentle embrace. He will never leave you, He is your fortress and strength. In dreams, 73% of Catholics will witness something peculiar. They will undergo a night of hell in their own homes, a night when Catholics dream of hell and have disturbing, unsettling dreams that leave them feeling fearful and anxious. In the dream, they will travel through an environment as dark as ink, barren, where the air is heavy with the smell of sulfur, and flames lick at the edges of their vision. Their feet will feel hot and unstable as if the ground could give way at any moment, plunging them into the abyss below. 
They will encounter grotesque and terrifying figures as they venture deeper into this nightmare world, twisted and contorted by the agony of unending pain. With malevolent eyes, demons will lurk in the shadows, mocking and tormenting the souls banished to this deep hell. Catholics will experience profound regret and sorrow as they witness the consequences of sin and disobedience laid bare before them amidst chaos and suffering. They will bear a tremendous burden upon realizing their own mortality and the ephemeral nature of their souls as they confront the horrifying prospect of judgment in the afterlife. But even amidst the darkness, there will be a glimmer of hope, a reminder that those who turn back to God in repentance and seek His forgiveness and mercy can still find salvation. Catholics will awaken from this horrific dream with a renewed resolve to live a life pleasing to God, steering clear of sin and striving to follow His teachings. This may serve as a warning that evil is about to attack the entire Catholic world and force you to obey their commands even when they go against God's will. Their goal is to calm you down and make you forget the warnings from heaven. You have my everlasting love, protection, and blessing. Matthew 25 verse 41 states, Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. The gravity of future judgment as described by Jesus is emphasized in Matthew 25 verse 41. This verse discusses the fate of those who have rejected God and chosen to live contrary to His will. The metaphor of being cast into eternal fire highlights the dire consequences of willfully disobeying God and sinning unrepentantly. This passage serves as a serious warning about what will happen to those who do not obey God forever, they will be permanently excluded from God. It draws attention to the reality of hell, both as the ultimate resting place for those who side more with evil than with God and as a place of punishment specifically for the devil and his angels. Yet, while this verse speaks of judgment and punishment, it also underscores the importance of living according to God's plan and seeking His forgiveness and salvation. Let us now unite in prayer. Christ, the loving and forgiving Lord who always welcomes all who come to Him with humility and repentance, grant us the strength and courage to overcome all hardships and trials in life, and to offer up our sacrifices and deeds in honor of Your name and to assist those around us. Congratulations and prayers for all who trust in the Lord and are seeking His guidance and salvation. Amen. Thank you for watching to the end. What do you think about today's topic? Please leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell next to it to get notifications of the latest videos. Finally, I wish you all a day full of positive energy. May God bless you. Amen.